Hey, this is Cherry Glower, and this is the last character of the Avengers Collector's Edition set. Um, he's out of the box only because I had complications with getting him out, and my card fell the opposite way of almost like the other one, where I just I don't want to have my passwords or codes leaked over the internet. Because I know people like to take them, and I, I don't have editing software, so I just did it in the sense of I'll just do it where he's out of the box. Um, see, for this character, you know, for Hawkeye, his slogan is Master Archer never misses a target. So, with him in general, I see. I love this pose because it's from the movie in the sense of, you know, you, a lot of people know that it's from when he, you know, is shooting and and the, the other thing where I could see that some older Marvel fans could be kind of annoyed is that his costume is not his older costume, but it's it's an it's one of the ones where it's a different a, a, a difficult excuse me yeah sorry about that a difficult spot to pick where you either pick the newer one or more people would would know what he looks like or his older outfit where he has um, the mask and and everything um, it's it's you know you can easily look it up online but it's similar to almost like you know, a cross between uh, the kind of like Thor's helmet, but with Captain America's Captain America's head style, it just it covered his face. So I do prefer this pose, but you know, now that we have costume power-up discs, maybe his older costume can be from that way. I don't believe he has a costume yet, and that might be why. Like maybe down the line, he is being you know issued one I don't know for fact yet so um, that's my take on it I mean yeah I I, I like the Archer you know I like the Archer characters in ger general in Marvel you know like Hawkeye and Black Widow in the sense of in the sense of that they're ranged characters like the sense of they have that weird duo thing going on with them too where you can tell that like they're prepared for battle and stuff like like you do it from the movie even where it's like you know they've got their back in a sense where that's how they would that's how they would be posed even in the movie so anyways that's my little mini review on him uh, there's yeah there's his card and then of course there's, you know, all the cards, and then here's the two that come with it, and the playset. So, since this is kind of a conclusion to the collector's edition part, huh, that's weird that I just noticed Hulks has the A for Avenger on it. <laughs> I don't know why, but it does. Is it, is it, let's see, is there something different on the back of it? Nope. I just, I don't know. I just, he says Avengers on it. I don't know if that's supposed to be a, 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 a different Hulk or something. I don't know. Maybe a goof up in the printing. But. So yeah. Um, Hawkeye only works in the Avengers set beyond the play set. So. The. The little. Easter egg or, or well conclusion video since this is you know is the end of the Avenger set of getting them all you know put them all on here like it shows in the box to give people an idea of how it looks how how the box interprets all the characters how they should look I know for some of them I didn't go that well into detail, but it's, it, it's, um, some of them, it's, you know, they don't have a lot of detail beyond how, how they are dressed, you know, like, 
it's just, you know, for example, Thor didn't have, you know, his hammer, it didn't have the little details on it, it's, I mean, I do love the detail on him, but it's like, you know, it has that that's missing, but, so it's hard to be picky about it, so I try not to be too extreme with it. They, they are very well done in the sense of that I don't know what happened with my Hulk, he doesn't have the the whatever he had earlier I guess it was white packaging which usually doesn't happen usually it's permanent this one wasn't it was just like his dust or something it came off so that, that was good so here's all them how it wants it on the box that's how it's promoted I think half the reason is probably because Hulk's base is bent because of his foot is out there in the front they they kind of want him in the back. I could I'll actually test this right here. See, will he fit well here? He will, but like you know, you kind of you can't have him staring directly. He can you know you can put him like that. He'll work fine. Just you got to be careful with, with Hulk because he's a uh, a big character. He is really heavy. If you compare him to you know like Black Widow, which is you know she's very light because she's a less, you know lighter character that he is heavy he's possibly the heaviest character to date in uh, Disney Infinity I can't think of anybody else that's close to him except for maybe Wreck-It Ralph which he's Wreck-It Ralph you can see right here he's not as heavy as Hulk it's just the bulk of his body he's more more um more heavy so here they all are and I'll I'll get it lit up as you can see there they are fighting the frost giant and there they all are so that's all that's out I'll get Loki when it comes out, and I'll I'll add him to the list. I'll put him on here and show him off. In the sense of there's the complete one, you know. I can even eventually add a Falcon. And I'll put him into it also, knowing that he's coming out. And I'll I'll try to keep keep it up to date with what's uh, going on with it, and and um, see what power discs I have for the extra skins and stuff. So. Uh, oh, also the, the team ups, you know, the team ups should be good with uh, this game. I heard that that it's it's very uh, very good compared to you. You're gonna want to have a couple of good team ups. I'll see which team team ups I have. I'll see about if I can re go into those in a review or something. That'll be more difficult because it'll be console console wise stuff, but. Anyways, I hope you liked um, my showing of all this. It's uh, it took a lot to do, you know, for all of it. Just getting it out was a big, big thing <laughs> to do itself. Um, so if if you're a collector and if you're in Disney, um, you know, Disney in general, Disney's gonna have their own Disney Classic line coming out. Uh, in November, you can get the starter kit for just Disney, even if you only want the Disney stuff. But for me, I, I couldn't wait as a Marvel fan to get the Marvel stuff. And when I heard this was coming out, you know, the first day, I was like, gotta get it. It's, it's, it's a must-have if you're a Marvel fan. It's it, You won't be disappointed in the detail in it. It's it's very um, sturdy and everything. It's, it's not going to break. You know, unless you throw it across the room, which which I would not advise for anyone to do at all. Just it's it's very sturdy for in the sense of it's not gonna you know it's not gonna break if you just accidentally nudge it a little bit like that. You know, it's perfectly fine, which is very good work for something of this quality. I give Disney and everybody else that was involved making this props for doing that for making a solid product. That's a collector's edition. This should be a standard for people of what is a collector's edition. <laughs> but anyways, thanks for watching. Um, like, subscribe, you know, give me details. Anyways, uh, thanks for watching. Bye.